Today we're going to take a look at farming on pixels. I'm going to go through setup, walk through the quests, and ultimately get to where we are harvesting crops for coins that will eventually be tokens. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure MetaMask is installed. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet that Pixel uses it to identify you, keep track of your status in the game, keep an inventory, and so on and so forth. So we're just doing a Google search for MetaMask. Um, this will come up. Click on download. We're going to click on install. Um, in this case, it's Firefox, but whatever browser you might be using, you just it generally is a extension for the browser. Um, go ahead and add it to my Firefox uh, web browser in this case, and click on the little MetaMask icon uh, that now appears. Sometimes that doesn't necessarily appear. You just go to extensions, uh, click on that, and we're, it's going to open into full screen. The full screen is used to set up. There are some other things that you might do in full screen later, but we're going to click st get started. In this case, we're going to create a wallet, go through the basic setup steps, insert a password, um, confirm the password in this case, part of my slow typing. I've read everything. Yep. Don't need to save it right now. Doing a little thinking. You can watch the video about MetaMask. Um, this would show you your seed words. You definitely want to save those. I'm going to go ahead and skip it for now. And now we've got MetaMask uh, available. I know a lot of you probably already have MetaMask, but this is what you would go through to get it set up. Alright, so now that we have MetaMask, we're going to go head over to play.pixels.online and it'll drop you this page. So basically the home page, we're going to go ahead and enter now. And this is going to take us to kind of where the game begins, which is Terra Villa. We're going to go ahead and log in either with an existing MetaMask account or the MetaMask account that we, uh, we created in the previous se section. We're going to connect up our wallet to Pixels. Now here you're going to see either your NFTs or you can go ahead and, and basically create your own avatar. Give it avatar a name. Um, there's some basic settings. Some are pretty cool. Um, let's go with uh, maybe these little bug eyes. What kind of outfit do we want? Uh, there's a little wizard that I outfit that I really like. I usually go with that. Cool. Um, let's change the the mouth. Um, our person's really happy. We'll go with that. Very excited to play Pixels. And to complete the wizard look, we'll we'll throw a wizard hat on there. All right. Let's go ahead and click Enter Pixels. And there you have it. We are now in the game. So this is Terra Villa. This is where we start our quests, and we'll take a look at going through there, and on the other end, we'll we'll start farming. I did want to talk about, real quick, Discord. Discord is a super important resource as you're getting started, a really good community around it. Any questions you might have, anything I might have missed here, um, definitely go over to Discord. I'll leave a link inside of uh, below uh, that links to the Discord. Of course, you could use the button inside the game and it'll also uh, take you here. So within the, the Pixels Discord, like I said, a lot of good resources. Uh, I spend a lot of time in general. Um, for those of you who might have a, a farmland or might have purchased a NFT backed farmland, you can go to farmers only, get validated. Uh, there's a lot of important resources that are pinned. Uh, the one I wanted to particularly call out was, as I scroll down here, there's a walkthrough guide. We're going to walk through the quests here, but if you don't want to listen to my joining on, there's a really good walkthrough. In fact, I'm going to use this walkthrough as I go through these quests on a different screen. Um, walks you through every portion of what you need to do to get started with uh, farming. So... The other thing I did want to point out was this goes through Quest 4. Quest 5 was added later. So there's a second small walkthrough right here 
that walks you through quest five. And that is how you get Grumpkin, ske Grumpkin Seeds. Uh, so quest four, handled by the first set of instructions, quest five right there. Um, definitely join the Discord uh, to be successful. So before we get too far, let's take a look at the interface. So the first button there opens up chat. Chat is open by default. We can say hello to everybody or, or have conversations. Um, sends out a, a message to everybody in the area. Super nice for asking for help, things like that. We can see who's logged in. On the next page, opens up a mini map. We can see high level of what's going on within that land that you might be in. Um, we can minimize that. You can also click on a little circle and opens that another way to get to the mini map. Uh, next we have our inventory. This is our backpack. We don't have anything yet. That'll become important, actually very important later. Uh, we can see the status of our quests. We'll be monitoring that as we complete those. We've got a ranking system that's not currently in use. It used to be in use for play to mint. Uh, we can turn on and off the fabulous music and then links to Discord and Twitter. All right, so let's jump in the quests. So you start the quest by going over and talking to the mayor here. Uh, he tells you his life story. Um, just kidding, but uh, it's worth reading all through this. Um, so you're basically going to go around talking to various NPCs. The first one you're going to talk to is Amelia. Um, once you talk to Amelia, you're going to head south and you're going to talk to Ethan. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find some seeds. Obviously seeds are a basis of farming here. Once we talk to Ethan, we're going to head over to the community farm, which is where we will find Dana. So we can see actually on our inventory bar we have seeds and we've now completed quest one. We're going to head back to the mayor. Mayor is where you start pretty much everything except for quest five. Uh, so he's going to tell you to go talk to the storekeeper. And the storekeeper is Hazel. This becomes super important for the game and buying things later. Um, but as of right now, we're just trying to find a mysterious item. So she talks about something related to deep learning. So we're going to go talk to the mayor again. And the deep learning portion is actually a clue of who you need to talk to. So the D being Dana. So we're going to go talk to Dana at the community farm. And then we're going to go talk to Ethan, the first E in deep. Then we are going to talk to the second E, which is Ella. Ella's at the end of the road here. I should note I'm doing this in 4x speed, so you don't have to sit here and listen to me for a long time. So now we need to go to the P in deep, which is Poppy. So we talk to her, and we can actually see on our inventory bar now that we have a watering pail. We still haven't completed Quest 2 technically. To finish Quest 2, we need to talk to the mayor once again. And this will close out the second one. So we talk to him again to start the third one. So we've just started the third quest at this point. He's going to start talking about fertilizer. We're going to talk to Hazel. So Hazel is going to say she has fertilizer, but it costs 100 coins. So we're going to need to figure out how to get 100 coins. So once we do that, we're going to go tell the mayor what happened. So we need to get to 100 coins. How you do that is you pretty much go talk to all of the various NPCs. I'm going to start with Dana here, work, work my way through, go over to Poppy, head across the fountain over to Amelia, we're going to talk to L. Then we're going to head down. We don't want to talk to Hazel yet because that would buy the fertilizer. We want to get a little extra coin from Ethan. So this is actually going to give you about 125, 150 coins. Um, and you're going to spend 100 on Hazel. So getting the fertilizer, so you end up with a, a couple extra there. And we're going to take that fertilizer and tell the mayor. And this is going to complete the quest as well as we can see now on our inventory bar. We have fertilizer and we have shears to be able to harvest from. 
Next quest, we're going to head over to the farm. Like you, uh, I clicked on the portal, go through here, and we're going to end up in farm. You could have chosen any farm. I like farm 104, it tends to be less crowded, but it could be any. So we're going to plant the seeds, we're going to water seed, we're going to deploy fertilizer, and we're going to cut that pot berry. So now we have a pot berry to take back to the mayor to finish this quest. Fertilizer, it instantly grows produce or uh, um, crops. You're not going to normally have that. You can buy it at the store, but it's 500 coins, which is quite expensive. All right, so we've got the first four complete. Now we're going to go back to the farm. This is the one quest that started somewhere else. We're going to go talk to Pixel Luke on the farm. Again, it could be any farm. I'm choosing 104, uh, but it doesn't necessarily need to be 104 either. So we talk to Luke. He's going to tell us something about new crops. We're going to go back to Terra Villa. And we're actually going to go talk to L. And then we're going to go talk to Ethan. And he's going to start mentioning something about Grumpkins. And then we're going to go back to talk to L again. And one more time to Ethan. And now we have our Grumpkin seeds. We're going to go back to Farm 104. You might have noticed that I actually typed in Farm 104 on the browser bar. Faster way than, than going and and uh, clicking on the portal. You don't necessarily need to water when you fertilize. I did earlier, but in this case I skipped the watering step. Not important when you fertilize because it's going to grow instantly anyways. Super important when you do grow crops though. So now we're going to take our Grumpkin back to Ethan. We have five seeds and now we've completed quest five. Right, so now that we've finished the quests, we're going to start farming. Now you can farm on public land, that's 101 through 105, or you can go to someone's farmland. In this case, we're going to farm 3120. How you get there is going to play.pixels.online forward slash farm, and then the NFT or farm number that you want to go to. So in this case, again, it's 3120 we're heading to, but that could be your farm, that could be anyone's farm, um, whatever NFT farm number you want to use. So we're going to take our seeds. So in this case, we have five grumpkin seeds and two pop berry seeds. And we're going to plant those. Simply go across the board, clicking on the soil plots that you want to plant them on. So we have our five grumpkins planted. We have our two pop berries planted. We grab the water. Put water onto our seeds. All right, so a trick that's probably not going to be needed in the future, but um, something I highly recommend right now is once you've watered, refresh the browser that you are playing on. So we're going to refresh back to 3120. The reason this is important is to make sure that watering actually took. Um, sometimes it appears to take, but on the back end it doesn't take. By refreshing, you ensure that in fact you see that it has been watered. So we can see all seven plots here, seeds are down water is down and at this point what we want to do and I'm speeding up the clip here a little bit um, you can see how it's spinning so fast there but uh, we basically want to leave the browser open until we see sprouts once we see sprouts we can close the browser move on to other things come back uh, later in a second I'll show on screen how long it takes to to each do each um, crop but so we can see our pot berries sprouted. Pot berries grow faster than grumpkins, so they sprout faster than grumpkins as well. Uh, Scareds take the longest, so they would take longer to sprout. So now we can see the grumpkins has also sprouted. So once we see the sprouts, it's safe to go ahead and close your browser. You can come back later and harvest your crops. So there's four stages to a crop, from seeds, to sprouts, which we just took a look at. There is a middle stage. Uh, I call it stage two sprout, but 
not much interaction at that point. It's just kind of letting you know that we're getting closer to a harvestable item and then ultimately a harvestable crop. We can see what those look like. So we'd expect those to see after about two hours, you'd see pot berries, about four hours, you'd see crumpkins, about five hours, you'd see scarrots. Then you would take your shears, cut those, you would have seeds in your inventory, and you would have your crop in your inventory that you can go now sell. So at this point, we've st skipped ahead and it's been about two hours. We are ready to harvest. We we'll take our shears and we cut our pot berries. We can see drop seeds have dropped into our inventory. We can see pot berries. Now we have three. We had one before. Now we're going to take our pot berry seeds and the cycle we begin again. We're going to put our seeds down. We're going to water those seeds. And then as we do, we refresh our browser, make sure that that watering aspect of things has taken from a back-end perspective. Log back in. And we are watered. We can see our grumpkins are still growing. So we'll come back and harvest those in a little bit. So we've jumped ahead. Our grumpkins are ready to be harvested. You might notice I lost a couple on the right hand side there. That's just because I was messing with this land wall. I was recording this, so that won't happen under normal circumstances. But I'll take the seeds that I just harvested, plant those, water them, and I'm ready for the next set of grumpkins. At the same time, I want to add some scarrots into this mix as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go buy those with the crops I just bought. So we're going to head over to Terra Villa. log in over here and then we're going to head south and talk to Hazel who owns the store. We're going to get, buy some scarrots. In order to buy scarrots we of course need coins. To get coins we're going to sell our grumpkins that we just harvested. So we click on Hazel. We're going to click on enter store. We're going to sell our grumpkins and now we have about 80 coins. Scarlet seeds cost 60, so now we are ready to go with a set of scarrots. We're going to go back to our farm. Again, this could be private or public or your farm, whichever farm has plots that you might want to uh, to farm on. We're going to take our scarlet seeds, water those. And these take a little bit longer, yeah, but we're going to, at this point, refresh our screen, and away we go. So yeah, that is how you farm on Pixels. Hope you have found this informative. We've gone through how to complete all five quests, how to grow some pot berries and some grumpkins, as well as we went to the store, bought some scarrots, and put those down. So if you have any questions, people on the Discord and the community are super helpful, super friendly. So head over there and ask away.